Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad. This is my channel, Adam and Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. During this past week, Metal Earth moved a lot of things from what's coming soon to what's new, and we'll talk about that a little bit right now. One of the things that moved over is the construction vehicles. Now, they've had a line, Metal Earth has had a line of CAT construction vehicles in the past. A while back, those were set to retire. Now, if you go to the CAT section of Metal Earth, you'll see that some of the models are listed as retired, a couple of them are listed as retiring. I'm not exactly sure what's going on there, but it looks like what has happened is they've kept some of the models, some of the designs, but they've released them under a different name. I made an announcement several months back, I believe back in January of this year, January or February, that these models were coming and it looked like a basically a re-release of the cat construction models just without the cat name and a different you know with actual color to it i want to say a different color but the original cat models models were silver so now they have color originally they were listed as a dubo dubaku doboku with a name on them but it looks like that name has since been removed they are just listed as construction vehicles it does appear that they are pretty much the same models, the same construction that existed before. I haven't compared the instructions side by side, but I've taken a peek at a couple of the cat ones that I built and they look very familiar. Familiar. They look like they are the same construction, the same instructions and the same design. But again, I haven't compared them as side by side. I would also like to note that they have moved over that they are re-released or however you want to put it. They've got an excavator, a motor grader, a wheel loader and a mining truck. What they did not put out, originally there were five cat models, they're only putting out four construction vehicles, they left off the dozer. Don't know what the story is behind that, but that's a little bit sad that they've, it's great that you can still get them and it's nice that they're in a different color, but it's kind of sad that the dozer isn't also included. For what reason, I do not know. And with that, they also moved over the Western Star 4900 truck and trailer, the Iconics version. The question still remains just how different this is. I know that question was posed in a previous video. Some of the, some viewers have, have asked, what's the difference? Is there a difference? I still do not know. It looks like it's just the same truck, just with a trailer, but they haven't released online. They haven't released the instructions or a 360 view of the completed model for the 4900 truck and trailer. They have the instructions up for the 4900 log trailer or truck but not the truck and trailer. So I don't know what the difference is as of yet other than one's listed as an Iconics and one's listed as a Metal Earth. Also with that, they released the Iconics German Flak 88 gun as well as the, forgive me if I say this wrong, the Yomeimon Gate, which was something that was released with the Dresden model a while, or at least listed as coming soon along with the Dresden model months ago last year. The Dresden model moved over, but the, the gate is just now moving over, but it's now available. So all of these things kind of moved over at the same time. Now going from what's new to coming soon side of things, the Metal Earth has added another train to the lineup. Last week I talked about the Hogwarts Express Iconics model, and this week it looks like they have also added a Wild West 440 locomotive model. And that's really cool. Seems like they're on a train kick and I don't really have a problem with that. But I would like to also point out something that CodeWookie pointed out to me that I probably would have slipped my notice if, if he hadn't have mentioned it. Not only have they released the Wild Wild or Wild West 440 locomotive, but the previously announced coming soon Old West models have now changed to Wild West models. That's just a name change. That's not that big a deal. But one thing that does kind of stand out, one of the models not only changed from Old West to Wild West, but the stagecoach, excuse me, but the wagon changed from the Old West wagon to the Wild West stagecoach. And in the pictures, it looks like the paint job is a little more subdued, a little more muted than it was before. Now that's just a picture. Who knows what the actual final product's gonna look like, so honestly, I've seen this before with other models. The picture they show originally differs slightly from what actually comes out, and that may change again in time. So who knows what the actual final product's gonna look like. It's debatable whether which one looks good or not. I think that's very much a personal preference, but a very mild change that I thought I would comment on. 
Usually the next thing I look at is what's going on with Peace Cool. And looking at their website, I do not see any new models. But there's one thing that catches my attention. And I'm not going to spend a lot of time dwelling on this. But it, there is a notice on the Peace Cool website that I've hesitated whether or not I even want to mention. But this is news. And I do try to keep people up to date with what's going on in 3D metal model news. And one of the things that's shown up is a notice of termination of Fascination Inc.'s rights to use the... Pin Cool or Peace Cool trademark license. I don't really know what's going on there. I'll put a link to it in the description down below as I usually try to put a link to everything I'm talking about so you can check it out for yourself. I haven't received any official comment from anybody about what's going on. I don't truly understand what's going on, but there seems to be some sort of trademark issue going on with either the Peace Cool name or the Fascinations name. I hope this does not spell bad news. For us as model collectors, I know I really enjoy the things that Metal Earth and Peace Cool put out, and I would like to see them cooperate and continue to put out really cool models. Hopefully this isn't bad news, and whatever issue has arisen will hopefully be resolved. But I did want to go and not mention it at all, because it is an issue for those of us that are concerned and enjoy these models, it could be an issue. But I don't really know what it means, so I'm limited as to how much I can comment on it. So I at least wanted to point it out. I'll leave, it as, leave a link so you can read it for yourself. And if anything more important comes up, I definitely will make a comment, at least once I understand it more. And from there, looking at crazytoys.co.uk, which is a pretty good site for what's going on with other 3D metal models, I did notice they do have a couple of new models showing up on their site. Well, models that I knew were coming, but it looks like the Peace Cool Prince's Carriage and the Picture Kingdom World of Warcraft Warhorse, which I've talked about in previous videos is coming soon, are now available on crazytoys.co.uk's website. Now looking on their AliExpress page, Crazy Toys AliExpress page, I did not see these new models as listed, but I have noticed in the past that sometimes things will show up on one, they'll later show up on the other as well. But Crazy Toys has two different websites. They have an AliExpress store, and they have an eBay store, and not everything is always available on all three stores. I will leave a link in the description to the crazytoys.co.uk so you can check it out. But looking on AliExpress, I did not see those items in their store. However, I did poke around and look at several other favorited stores of mine. I did notice in Danny's Toy World, they do have the Peace Cool Princess Carriage listed as now available, as well as the MU Royal Princess Carriage and the Peace Cool McCall, which I had talked about in a previous video. So different stores getting things at different times. I'll leave a link to Danny's Toy World down in the description below if you're anxious to get any of those models as well as crazytoys.co.uk. But other than that I didn't see anything new or at least of interest on any of the stores that I follow on AliExpress. One other thing I wanted to mention, you've heard me mention the name CodeWookie numerous times. CodeWookie has an Instagram that I follow. He's also active on the Metal Earth subreddit and at very active in the Metal Earth and associated communities, he's decided to start his own blog. And him and I have talked about it a little bit. He's run some few ideas by me and has recently officially launched his blog. You can find his blog at MetalEarthBuilder.com. Again, I will put a link in the description down below. He's already got several pieces of content on there. One of the things that I find rather interesting is a display shelf walkthrough that he's done. I think that's very cool. A very interesting display shelf that he's constructed for his cubicle at work. You must have one hell of a cubicle. There's also other videos like tool videos, build videos, and news videos, much similar to what I do, but it's more of a blog style. So definitely, if you like blogs a little bit more, give it a, give it a look. He's keeping up with the same information I do. Honestly, sometimes some of my information comes from him. So he's a good resource as well. Check his blog out, see what you think, and definitely give him some feedback. Honestly, that's how we all grow. And one last thing to wrap up this video is the usual question of the week. This week's question of the week, more of a statement, comes from Richard Howe, H-A-O-E. I want to buy, but I don't know what's the easiest module. And perhaps maybe he meant model. I'm not sure. This was left on one of the tank models. And I don't know specifically if this individual is asking for the easiest tank model or just model in general. But I thought I'd take a moment. So I do get the occasional question about what's easy and what's difficult. Metal Earth does, or at least Metal Earth, all, several of the different model companies, Metal Earth included, do try to put some sort of scale on their models of how difficult and how easy they are. Metal Earth has basically, well, they started off with a easy, moderate, and difficult scale, and it's not inaccurate, but 
it can vary a little bit by opinion of whether or not it's as easy or as difficult as they say, but it's a really good scale to go by. Some of the newer models have come with a kind of marker on the back that goes from like greenish yellow all the way up to orange and red. And again, it's fairly accurate. There's some debate on how accurate the difficulty is, but it's a good standard to go by. Places like Peak School have a star rating system on their models to give you how difficult they are. So there is some indication out there as far as myself, I do have a playlist that I have created with some easier Metal Earth builds back when I... It's kind of an old playlist and it could stand to be updated, but if you're looking for a good way to get started in the Metal Earth builds, there is a metal, easy Metal Earth or beginner's Metal Earth playlist that you can watch and get an idea of some models that you can start to get your feet wet and get started with Metal Earth building to introduce yourself into the process and how it feels and how it goes a little easier. And I'll put a link to that in the description down below as usual. And that's it for 3D Metal Model News this week. As always, thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel. And also thank you to you, the viewer, for watching. Thank you for your comments and your interaction. I do appreciate it. As always, thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.